Hey folks, Coach Simmons here one more time for the night. And right now, I'm, I'm going to ask y'all a question. Am I speaking alien to y'all or something? Am I not speaking clear enough? A couple years ago, I made a video talking about how y'all should go ahead and switch to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, you know, a streaming service. I got all kinds of blowback saying, we want to have our games on linear TV. We want to have our games get respect. And plus, Netflix is never going to show a live show. They're never going to show live sports. Well, could be a fader. Guess what? Netflix just signed a 10-year, $5 billion contract with the WWE. Show live entertainment three hours a week on their streaming platform. Five billion dollar contract, five hundred million dollars a year. Remind me, what? What's the mean? What is ESPN paying us? What? Oh, is that per conference or per team? Either way, it's not five hundred million dollars a year. I'm not saying the swag could have got five hundred million, but if they would have gotten half, that's two fifty. Half of that is one twenty five. Half of that. See what I'm saying here, people? Even a pittance of that money is way more than ESPN would have given swack. And guess what? Your damn games are still going to be streamed because no one is putting the games on them. ESPN 2, 3, what? Twice a year? And you love three times a year? We ain't count Celebration Bowl as a combination between the MEAC and the swack. We want to put the SWAC championship game, actually, just once. The SWAC title game, and what else? That next BX SWAC challenge is also a combination of the MIAC and the SWAC. Want to talk about the Orange Blossom Classic? Think they're going to show NC Central and Battle State this year? No, no, it ain't happening. 10 year, $5 billion contract. If you're going to get streamed any damn way, that get shown on the app any damn way. What is $65 million a year? Hell, 10 year, $650 million contract? Sign me up instantly. But make sure the SWAC gets really that pimp deal where they gotta pay the SWAC offices past the contract. Come on, man. Come on, man. Who we kidding? The Pac-12 had a contract with Amazon Prime. Each school would have got $23 million a year on the base. On the base. Incentive-wise, up to $50 million a year. They turned it down. They didn't like streaming. But guess what? The Pac-12 is no longer around. And now we sitting here having to watch the games on YouTube while someone else streams the games or try to catch a stream on ESPN 72. I'll try to catch it on an app, which we get no effect on our school's money. I, I need to understand this. What part of this are y'all not getting? What part of this are the sweat almost is not getting? You got to think outside of the box to get this money. The more you think inside of the box, thinking the same shit's going to happen, doing the same thing over and over again, Look, HBCU Go, HBCU Plus, good, fine. But, and numbers there, man. Right now, they got to build that up. Netflix deal was there. You have potential billions of customers. Amazon Prime, potential billions of customers. And here we are sitting here, happy to get our thing streamed online. The 345 viewers. Shit, I'm out, man. Good luck with this.